Um, my name is Mahati Gopinathan. My name is Abby Kamen. And we are from Oak Middle School in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and we're both in eighth grade. My name is Ronan Avaduta. And my name is Pranav Vadlamudi, and we both go to Oak Middle School at Shrewsbury, Emmett. So last year in English class, we read a book called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, and it's about a boy named William Kamkwamba. And in this book, there was a young African child in the country of Malawi, which was at the time going through a serious famine. And since he comes from a farming family, he was not able to get enough money to go to school even. He wasn't the type of person who could afford an education. He also didn't know English. So since he wanted to help, he went to his local library and got books. And using those books, he learned English and physics so that he could create a windmill. And this windmill would generate electricity and pump water for his country. And thanks to some foreign aid and some donated library books, he was able to read more about engineering and build some small inventions and even build a windmill that generated electricity to his whole village and surrounding village that got international recognition. Um, so in English class we were giving limited resources and materials to make the windmill and our windmill had to be able to pick up washers which were weighted. So technically like we had the windmill and then what we had to do was we had to attach a cup to one part of it and this cup would like once the wind hit the wings of the windmill the cup would like start to lift up and the washers would sort of like weigh it down but we had to make a windmill that could carry the washers completely and we had to make sure that we had a certain amount of washers that could go up. And so you might be wondering what this is. This is a dynamo and what a dynamo does is that for example for example, if you were, you know, riding on a bike in Africa, you would need a lot, you know, if you're riding a bike, you would, at night, you would need a lot of electricity to, you know, to power the night because you can't just roam through African villages with no light. And William Kumkwamba, he was riding his bike, you know, being the curious and outgoing person he is, and he saw an old man riding his bike. And surprisingly, being curious, he asked, what is this? And, you know, that's the question he asked. And, for example, as you can see, the dynamo is being powered by the light. So it connects mechanical energy into electrical energy. So how, this, so how this dynamo actually works on a deeper level is that this axle spins a magnet in the inside, which has a copper string around it that generates electricity with po a positive and negative. Positive goes to the light and goes back down to ground, forming a complete circuit. And using these basic principles, he will eventually be able to make a windmill. And like he said, it works as an electromagnet. But the, so the reason why we did this project is because for, in our world, in our society today, there's so many issues. For example, you know, health-related issues and economic and economic issues and political issues. And really, if we're faced into those situations, we want to figure out how can we go through all of this using one important word, perseverance. And you know, that's what matters in this project. William Kumkwamba, it took him weeks. It took him months to even figure this out. But for us, it only took us six hours, even using you know, the factory-made stuff. For example, this little wheel here, he actually used a plastic bottle cap in, to replace this. And it's really strange to see how one person can turn something very ordinary into something extraordinary. And so, you know, that's what we took into mind. And I recommend reading the book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. It's a very good book and it really can teach you more about the world and society today and how one man, you know, changed the face of Africa. So, even today, after earning international recognition, he was got accepted into Dartmouth and completed his studies around two years ago, and has gone back to Africa to complete many other similar projects and create inventions that also can continue to help. Do we need more people like William Kumbwaka that, even when they're being criticized for not being able to afford an education, making inventions that didn't work on the first try out of scrap? They continue to press through and really benefit their whole village and surrounding villages. We need more people that can persevere, like William 
and help our future. I think we can also inspire people to like make their own windmills, try it out and see how they can help other people in their community. It's, you know, it's really important for people like William to, you know, to progress through life, to find all of life's hardships and go through them. So it's really interesting to see that.